Okay, so, um, I actually realized after making this video that I, think, I guess my microphone was off or something. So, um, I, I know a lot of people have had issues getting Fallout 3, any version of Fallout 3 to work on Windows 10. Um, understandably, because, you know, Fallout 3 was a game made, <clears throat> sorry, was a game made when uh, Windows Vista was the was the thing. Like, literally, Windows 7 hadn't even come out yet in 2009. Sorry, 2008. Uh, this game came out in, like, what? Like, I don't know, August 2008 or something like that? I don't know. But anyway, so, it was never really designed to work on, uh, to th on Windows 10. For various reasons, I mean, there's there's a the core parking issue, and then there's the fact that it doesn't use more than like f two gigs of RAM or, or four gigs of RAM or something on PC. So anyway, as is usually the case with old games, there's a, a little bit of fuckery, um, a little bit of messing around you have to do. Um, so at this point in the video, I. I I've installed the game. I've launched it. You can see that it's obviously not running. It, it loads the splash screen, and then the splash screen, when you click on play, it doesn't work. So now I'm trying to play again. Uh, still won't work. It just instantly closes the, the launcher, you know. Um, so I'm waiting on me. <laughs> I'm waiting on past me. What What are we waiting for here? Okay, so I'm going to the executable now, um, which is the Fallout3.exe. So I'm trying to edit the compatibility settings to put it in compatibility mode. First, I'm going to try 7 because it did work on 7 without issues, really, uh, you know, as, as far as actually launching the game. I think at this point I'm double-checking something. And I'm saying, no, forget Windows 7. Let's try XP because technically XP was, was the popular thing when this game was new. So now to try it again. Play. Okay. Admin prompt. Nothing. And then you've got this error message. It's missing a xlive.dll from the installation directory. So I'm going back to the install directory, ignoring that error message, basically. I'm gonna try uh, seven now and see if it happens again. It's still happening, it doesn't do anything when you click play. I'm gonna mess with it again. I'm going to turn off compatibility entirely and try it again. <laughs> so we're back to the start. Still prompting for admin. Still not working. Missing xlive.dll. And now we wait. I mean, technically I could edit this part of the video out, but uh, YouTube takes forever to process changes and I don't really want to do that. Because I've already, I've already trimmed this video like four times. Because originally I actually had the whole process of installing the game on video. And then I realized how asinine that was to, to have a silent video. So what I'm doing now is installing the games for Windows Live Marketplace. Um, technic technically this should have been included with Windows 10, 
but but it is outdated. I mean, this is back when GFWL was relevant. It's no longer required to play any of these games. We're, uh, so, I mean, this game specifically. So there's no reason that you would ever think to install it. So I've signed in to my actual Xbox Live account. Uh, you can see it, it's refusing to connect for whatever reason and actually load my profile, which I assume is because Games for Windows Live is now actually dead. Um, thank God. So let's try it again. I think at this point I give up and I'm going to close the GF GFWL. Now I'm going to mess with my video settings. Alright, so the download link to get that GFWL installer is in the description. Uh, it's a direct link to the file. You shouldn't have to click through any BS to get to it. Just literally just install that. Um, I don't think you even need to sign in to Xbox Live. And then it should work. <laughs> 